Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Catherine with A Perfect Place to Start and in today's video we are going to be creating some bee DIYs. If that is something that you are into, stick around and let's get started. So for this project we're going to take a home sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. I covered it with some white folk art chunk paint. This is my absolute favorite stencil to use when doing any kind of bee DIYs. I love the honeycomb look. I picked it up at Walmart. It's a Waverly stencil. I I believe if I can't find that exact stencil, I'll link one down below that is similar for you guys to pick up from Amazon. I'm using some light yellow chalk paint and I'm just going to cover this whole sign with our beehive design. So once I get that onto the block, I cut out this super adorable thing that says kind words are honey to the soul. I absolutely loved that and I'm just going to go ahead and place it right on top of our honeycomb. Once I get that laid out, I'm going to take some ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make a shabby bow and I'm going to attach that to the top of this sign. That is it for this easy project. Let me know what you think about this one. this project I'm going to use this wood round that I had in my stash. I got this from the Target dollar spot. It came with some stencils that are for fall. It came with like four different fall and Halloween stencils. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside for a later date. I'm going to cover our round with some white folk art chalk paint and then we're going to use our same trusty old beehive stencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a section and then when you're doing a large project like this with a smaller stencil you want to line up a section of that you've already stenciled into the stencil and then keep stenciling. That way you get the same design as you go around the whole project. This is one of the biggest things I've ever cut out with my silhouette, and you guys know I don't use it that often, so I was super excited when I cut this out. It took me a long time to weed it, but I absolutely love how it turned out, and this is simple. All we're going to do is lay it down on top of our beehive design, make sure we get it on there straight, and that is it. Let me know what you think about this one. So this project is the easiest DIY in the history of DIYs, but all I did was cut out this bee from my silhouette, and I'm laying it on this riser I picked up from the Target dollar spot. I didn't paint it or add anything else to it because I want to continue to use it as a riser, but here it is styled for you guys. Let me know what you think about this one. So for this project, we're going to create a super cute floral arrangement. I took this box that was in my stash, and I'm going to go ahead and cover it with some white Bogart chalk paint. Then I cut out this super cute bee on my silhouette, and I'm going to add it to the front of our box. So since I am currently on a no spend challenge this month, which included craft supplies as well, I have definitely been crafting for my stash. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that I am not a really good at using my silhouette, but I have had some fun this month learning how to use it and using some supplies in my closet. So if you are someone who is maybe trying to save money this year or you're trying to, you know, just use up the things that you have, I definitely recommend a no spend a challenge for you guys. I have been watching tons of videos on YouTube and I've been totally inspired by the budget community. So I will leave some of my favorites down in the description box if you're interested in checking those out. But here is our floral arrangement. I think this is so simple and sweet and I love how it turned out. For this project, 
project, I took one of those bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and another cutout from my silhouette. I did not add any paint to this project. I wanted it to be just the natural wood look. I added my cutout for my silhouette and then I made a really fun shabby bow for the top of our project. This ribbon came from the Dollar Tree and I definitely suspect they will have it again this year. But it's the honeycomb ribbon and then the white ribbon has bees on it. Then I decided to take this chalkboard tag that also came from the Dollar Tree and add it into the middle because I thought that it just it gave it a really fun farmhouse look. And then I'm going to add a button right to the middle just to kind of polish this whole project off. And then here it is styled for you guys. Let me know what you think about this one. we're gonna make another sign and I'm telling you guys I cannot believe all the things I had in my stash this was a happy fall sign that I believe came from the Dollar Tree um, plus section it was three dollars it could have came from the Target dollar spot too I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm just gonna remove the pumpkins and the words and then I do give the inside of this box a coat of white folk art chalk paint so once I have that covered, I took my cutout from my silhouette, and this one's a little bit larger. It says Be Strong. I really like that. I got a set on there of Be Strong, Be Grateful, and I was really thinking about hanging like each of them up in the hallway by my kids' rooms just to give them some motivation when they like go to school and things. So I might create that project later on, and if I do, I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. But I made another shabby bow using Dollar Tree uh, ribbon, and this is a larger like honeycomb ribbon, and then I used the buffalo check. I like the buffalo check in this one because it kind of went with the black and white that's going on in our picture. So then I had some totally dazzled jewels and I went ahead and added one of them to the middle. If you want to check them out, I will have a link down in my description box. But that is it for this super fun project. Let me know what you think about this one. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and getting to the end of this video. If you want to keep crafting with me, check this video out next. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.